Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play European vs. Alice 4 as the Oiratord. Okay, so in the last episode we went ahead and we westernized, which is really nice because now we have access to western units, which is super awesome because even though our, um, our technological adva our advantage over the other nations might not be that uh, big or whatever, but the fact that we now have western units is going to be quite a quite a big advantage compared to our neighbors so this should hopefully give us a, a quite a good advantage I think so yeah uh, another thing is that I have now um, I have now been able to read your comments regarding me editing these episodes and so on so it seems like you guys are mainly positive towards that um, you know correct me if I'm wrong but uh, so the basic thing that I sort of uh, understood is that you guys want me to edit the, the episodes but you don't want me to overdo it. So that's basically going to be sort of the strategy or whatever you want to call it that I'm going to be doing uh, as I think that's you know to me as well that sounds logical you know so um, yeah why don't we do it just like that. Okay so we have some issues with our country that we have to deal with right now. Uh, the two biggest ones being, of course, that we have, like, no prestige and we have, like, no legitimacy. Uh, exactly how to fix this, I am not sure. I guess we'll just have to declare war on some random people to try and, you know, gain prestige that way through battles and all that. But I kind of want to wait a little bit before, um, before I start any wars, simply because I, um... I really, I really would like to start the process of annexation, uh, annexing Ayutthaya before I do anything. So let's just go ahead and start improving, improving relations with these guys. I, I'm not going to take any chances. So I'm not going to be declaring war on anyone uh, or, or doing anything basically until I can be sure that I have the, have these guys. Um, you know, in, before I can be sure that I'll, I'll get these guys basically. So um, yeah. I think I'll just be sitting around not doing much. I guess I can build some buildings while I'm at it. Um, and I think I'm going. I'm no longer going to. Um, I'm, go I'm going to stop basically. Um, I'm going to stop uh, editing away me building buildings, as I think that's a you know that's not too big of a deal. You know, you guys can handle watching that. Uh, I guess you know it's a decently big part of the game, you could say. So, yeah. Of course, if you have any opinions on that, then you are of course uh, free to leave your opinions in the comments. I cannot know what you guys want to see and what you don't want to see unless you tell me, so... Um, you know, I'm just gonna sort of guess that this is something kind of what you guys want, I can't say for sure as I mentioned, so... Let's build some more buildings. I, I guess we should just build the basic buildings, like everywhere, just to get that going. Uh, not sure how important this it is to build these trade buildings, but um, you know, because our our trade is not like super important. Like it's not that big of a part of our income, or I guess it is. And we do gain a lot of money from trade, but like um, you know, we could still you know earn money even though we totally lost all our trade. So it's not like yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but it's still, you know, I guess we, uh, I guess that's something to think about. Then uh, it actually is quite big. I, you know, because if you look at this, I mean, uh, I guess there, there's a significant difference between taxation and trade. But still, that's a ooh, freeze the ability. Yes, please. Oh, that's fifty prestige. Though. Holy fuck! Uh, isn't Deva Barbara diplomat, well known for his efforts in establishing our nation? Uh, I, I would normally take the whole stability thing, but I feel like we don't have much of a choice simply because I do really need that prestige right now. That's absolutely perfect, actually. Uh, is that, that going to allow us to claim Korea? Because I, I have a... Um, nope. They must have... Oh, really now? I guess they, they at some point in time they didn't have a good air or whatever. But now they have it seems. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to sit around and wait until they get a weak air again. And they are fighting the Japanese. That's not gonna go good for you, Korea. Just, just, just saying, you know, no, no pressure. <sighs> All right, let's keep going. Uh, ooh, religious tension. Sure, let's do some religious tension or get some religious tension. That sounds reasonable. I don't really see the big problem about that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go in and make a little bit of a cut here, and I'll be back once uh, something interesting happens. 
Alright, we are back. Um, so, nothing too much have changed. I have built some buildings, increased some technology. I guess it's worth mentioning that uh, I did increase my military technology and I got access to some new um, some new units. Although, you know, the basic idea is just my units are now a little bit better. Uh, there's not, not too... nothing more complicated than that, so yeah. But there's something kind of interesting though that I noticed and that I kind of want to show off and... I was just derping a little bit around, trying to look at some opportunities, so what to do once I have annexed Ayutthaya. And I noticed this, I went to the fabrication of claim on Perm here, and I clicked the province, and if we... Uh, and I looked at this thing, uh, if if discovered, we will we will gain 10 aggressive expansion. Um, but, I mean, just look at this, there are... I mean, if we are to believe this one, then... Uh, Ayutthaya will not actually care if we invade Perm, so... That's very interesting, actually, and that might actually put us in a position where we can start invading some other nations without having to bother about Ayutthaya getting pissed, pissed at us, basically, so... Yeah, I think actually we are going to go ahead and do just that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fabricate a claim on uh, the Kingdom of Perm. They're not allied to anyone, I believe, so nope. They're just like nobody, no, no one likes them. So uh, I mean, it's only a question of time before they're going to get, blo you know, gobbled up by no guy here. So I guess we want to beat them to that. Um, talking about no guy though, I also kind of actually want to uh, go into f go in, go into a, um, you know attack no guy basically, uh, as I feel like they're going to be one of my main enemies. So yes, okay. Um, so, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and fabricate a random claim on them. I'm not actually going to, um, like, I don't think I'm actually going to be, um, uh, it doesn't matter exactly what I fabricate on, you know, as long as I just do something. I guess it kind of matters. I guess I want to fabricate as many claims as I possibly can before I go to war with them. Because I'm kind of tired of, you know, vassals and all that shit. Um, I know that the, I know, I, like, I'm not stupid, I know the most efficient way of expanding in this game is not conquering stuff, it's like vassalizing and personal unions and fancy stuff and things and yeah. But to be honest, I'm just kind of tired of, tired of that and uh, I just want to do some old-fashioned conquest. I feel like we can handle that right now, so, yeah, why don't we do that? So, uh, I guess we'll start off with Perm. Once we get a claim on that, uh, then stuff will be good. I don't think it's going to take too long. Uh, yeah, he's getting there. No, it's fine. So, that should be fine. Uh, the rebels, that's also fine, as they are rather easy to murder. Uh, if we're going to start fighting over in this area, I guess it might be a good idea to start moving some more troops over here. Of course, I don't think we need any more than just this army here to take down Perm. But, um, I still feel like we need to start fortifying this area a little bit more. Although that is going to require me to, you know, I guess I don't need that many armies in this particular area because, I mean, the area is rather stable right now. There are some areas here that have some problems. Um, yeah, these guys are not too happy. Why, what, like, here's the question, though. why are you, these guys happy? Oh, yeah, it's because they're the wrong religion. Ah, I see what's going on. Uh, okay, so they're the wrong religion and the wrong culture and that basically... Makes them pissed. Let's go stand there and try and prevent them from doing anything bad. Kind of, uh, I guess this army here in Japan is kind of pointless, so I'll bring that one home. It's gonna get my navy. I don't have a navy. I don't have an army over here. Yes, I do have an army. Okay, well, I guess we'll get that one first then. So that one is a little bit uh, more pointless than the. You know, to be, to be honest, this whole region is very pointless. But I'm going to keep it though, just be just to get the neighbor bonus with Portugal, because it makes my technologies a lot cheaper. Uh, so, and I am totally not funding my claim on a Oh yeah, but uh, most likely if I, if I went to war with Akram, then the Ayatines would uh, actually give a fuck about that, so... To be honest, I don't care about that, it's fine. Uh, yeah, by the way, also you can see my prestige is a lot better now, I actually got a... Uh, not, or, I can't remember, did I get the uh, prestige event on camera or did I get it off camera? I can't, I'm, I'm very honest, I can't remember. If I didn't record that, then, uh, well, there you go. I got an event that gave me a bunch of prestige. Uh, and I have a claim on Perm now, nice. Let's go in and invade them. I don't see why I should, um, should do that. Uh, I guess we can do, do this as a little bit of an experiment as well, uh, to see whether or not... 
the Ayutians are actually going to become angry at me. So they have a current aggressive expansion penalty of 82. So let's see what happens if I invade these guys. That's the wrong nation. Uh, these guys, here we go. Get a leader in there. Gonna fund the military. Like so, and holy shit, I'm making a lot of money now. I'm guessing it's because of all those new buildings I built. As yeah, so the other armies are getting there, they're, they're, they're working on it, so hopefully we'll eventually get something done. Alright. I'm just gonna sit here for now. Uh, I wanna get full morale before I go in. Uh, ooh, we can boost our technology. Yes or no. Because I have been considering trying to convert some of these provinces to the Mongol culture. Just to sort of, um, you know, I, I don't think I have to explain that. Although, uh, they are quite expensive though, but I think in the long run, by doing that, it would really help out. Mm, you know, uh, revolt risk wise and that kind of stuff, so. At least the provinces that have a very, uh, that are very cheap to convert, I think, are going to be worth it, so. Let's do that, let's do those. For one, this one is also very cheap. Do that one as well. Just do. I I don't like them being. I don't like having like enclaves of Mongol culture in the middle of places. Nine. Wow, that's a good province. Ten. Holy shit! I'm never going to be converting that. Four, two, three. Here we go. This these these are more like the provinces that I can convert. Uh, yeah. Let's just go crazy on this shit. Convert all the peoples. And then I'll. Uh, I won't convert the Han people, as I've done earlier. Now, I mean, all the conversions that I've done to the Han people are kind of stupid, as they are an accepted culture, and as a result, it's not really any point in doing that. Uh, so, and I have no uh, advisor. That's an issue. Ooh, let's get the uh, prestige guy. That is going to work out, as we do need prestige. And yeah, that's right. We are actually at war at war now, so I should probably do something about that. We go an easy victory, and he's now running to. Pilium, so we'll just stand there and kill him. Good. All right, that was easy. Now let's keep going. Quickly siege them, and I need to fabricate more claims. Damn. Let's do Kurgan next, like so. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Ayutthaya, they had 82. Now they have um, 79. So no, they don't actually give a fuck about. Or I guess I haven't gotten discovered yet, so you can't say for sure whether or not I have actually taken any penalties or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to do that, as I do want to save my power for coring. Uh, so I'm going to, for now, just not do that. Um, yeah. No perm, you can go fuck yourself. Thank you. Uh, what happened? Oh crap. Oh crap! We have a shitty leader now. That's an issue! Because uh, now we're not going to gain any. Not, we're not, uh, not going to get as many points as we used to gain. Oh well, not much to do about that. Is do about that? Is it? Um, uh, we might. Mm, let's take. If I send them a gift now, are we going to be able to do this now? I'm going to overdo it. I can't remember exactly if this is correct. I'm not gonna be like super happy quite yet. Uh, oh! Oh, well, there we go! We have uh, 200 relations with these guys, which means that we cannot annex them because we are at war. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's frustrating. Oh well. Oh well. Disorder or prestige? Ah. Uh, I don't want the disorder. Oh, can I handle the disorder right now? Fuck it, let's YOLO it. I don't want to lose prestige right now. I don't want to. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, so our agent was just discovered, so... No, that didn't hurt our relations at all with the Italians. They're like, yeah, sure, whatever, you know, it's cool. It's fine, no big deal. It's cool, brah, 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 brah. We have a claim on that now. Okay, keep claiming. This was this uh, this is not this is going fast. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, let's do chill. Next, chill. Oh. 
I, I feel like my brain sort of just when it when it sees a word that has a lot of these letters in it like C H blah blah blah, my 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 brain sort of just automatically concludes with that this is a difficult word. So, I my brain just automatically fails at you know pronouncing it, even though it's not actually that difficult, you know. Genius brain. I'm gonna convert that one just to just to clean up the borders a little bit. Are the Korean prom? No, the Korean provinces are rather not particularly. Let's go ahead and convert that one. I want to do all the cheap ones. Uh, Portugal? No. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to get that claim anyways. It's not like I have a choice. Uh, let's go ahead and increase our technology now. I feel like we can do that. Ooh, military technology. Nice. Let's get that. Uh, yeah, that, the reasoning for that is, of course, that uh, we do have a decent chunk of power now that should be enough to core this place. So, yeah. I'm getting impatient, so I think I'm just gonna charge in and do an assault. Uh, revolution suffers. Oh, well. That happens. Assault! Assault that shit right now. Right now. What? Really now? Uh, I feel like assaulting is a little bit broken in this game. Like, I, I agree that it should be difficult and, and so on and so forth to, you know, do that kind of shit, but, I mean, seriously, game? I think it's a little bit ridiculous. Hey, changing the cultures. Nice. The Mongol culture is spreading. Look at that. Loads of Mongol culture. Awesome. I want to do this province right here. I am already doing that province, so there's no need for that. Who would have thought? My missionary is not doing anything. Why are you not doing anything? You should be doing anything, something. Ooh! I was about to say free prestige and free legitimacy, but that was, strictly speaking, not exactly free, but, um... Eh. It's fine. I like it. For me, it's kind of free. Okay, build all the buildings. Thank you. Build them. Build them now! Ah. Gotta remember that little island. Islands, I guess. Um... Uh, where should I build forts? I like, uh, like I guess over here. This is sort of the area that I feel is going to be my permanent border to this area. Maybe I, I'm not perfectly sure. Let's try and build some unique build. Yeah, here we go. This this is what I need. Fine Arts Academy. Let's build that in the capital because the capital people must have something to do. Fine Art. Oh come on, really? I, I can a little bit better, maybe? No, just okay. Fuck you, two game. Hmm, why do I have minus 15? I'm totally winning this war, if you haven't noticed. Uh, Quara Kyunlus just did something. It's cool, I guess. Whatever. Come on, stupid siege. They have, like, no dudes. Or I guess they have some dudes, but, like, this is not, like... Blah, you know? Ooh, the Oirats are fighting as we speak, so... Ooh, I need some more claims, though. More claims! Uh, I'm thinking this one. Solimansk. Yeah, let's do Solimansk. And there we go, we finally did it. That took forever. Full annexation! Bam! Bitch. Get that shit cord. Get that Tosh treatment. Split the army and put them there. I feel like I need more armies in this area. I do feel like I do need that, so. Do I? What's my force limit right now? I feel like, uh, oh yeah, I can recruit a bunch more troops. Alright, I guess I should have paid attention to that. Oh, well, uh, let's get some troops over here. It's kind of tempting to do force march. Oh, I don't have force march, do I? I guess I don't. Oh well, that's fine. But now I can annex them. Fuck yeah. What? Uh. <coughs> wow. That's the worst, like, ah, oh, I've ever heard. So I cannot annex them. Uh, the only reason I had so high relations with them was because I was at war together. <sighs> That's sad. It makes me frustrated. Oh well. Um, we can increase our relations, though, a little bit more. So maybe we'll get there. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Uh, but yeah. By the way, who are the... Uh, ooh, uh, Delhi might be a problem. I don't think they're going to be a problem, but they might be a problem, as I mentioned. 
The Mamluks and Sindh, uh, I'm not too afraid of the Mamluks, of, for obvious reasons. Uh, Delhi and Sindh, though, they might cause some problems. They're currently fighting on their own, though, they have their own wars to deal with, so I think this would be a very good time to de declare war. I would prefer to get my claim before I get into this place, though, so... If you could... Uh, does it say... When I will get my... Claim fabricated? No, it is not. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Someone has arrived. Uh, yeah, we'll wait. It's fine. I guess while we wait, we can recruit, uh, we can recruit another army. Let's do that. Uh, line infantry. Get some of that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Something like that. And some mortars. Exact amounts aren't that important, I guess. Just do something like this. I might have done a, you know, a little bit too many horses or cannons. I mean, so let's do. Make sure we don't have too many cannons. Uh, something like that. Hopefully, I didn't overdo it. Uh, ooh, cheaper military technology. I can, I can accept that. That's that's something I can approve of. Wow, five years now. Oh well. Oh wow, that was a quick recruitment. Can I like do a rally point? Is that possible in this game? Rally points. Province history. Um. Nope. I see no such option. I see no such option. So let's not bother about that. And instead, just get the guys we have recruited into the army. Uh, go there. Yeah. Okay, that's the maximum. Uh, ooh, we can do it now, can't we? Can 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 get the yes, we can do it. Fuck yeah! Ah, uh, that only took forever. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, we finally did it, or we haven't done it yet, but we are. We're finally working on it. That's it's it's something, you know. It's finally going to happen. That makes me happy. Uh, so yeah, I, I guess the whole strategic decision, you know, you know, down here wasn't the best. I could have, I mean, uh, but I guess that's true for a bunch of things I do in this in this let's play. Like, there's a lot of things that I, strictly speaking, like I I don't really play this game like super efficient, and I'll, I don't like do the best strategies basically in order to um, in order to, and I don't have that much manpower. Hmm. Yeah, I don't do the best strategies in order to sort of maximize my expansion, but I feel like I don't really want to do that because if I want, to, if I'm starting to do that, then I feel like I'm just gonna get stressed because I feel like, um, like if that's in that's a little bit of an issue I've had with this game. Like it feels to me that sometimes like this empire isn't really too much of an achievement because it isn't strictly speaking that difficult to achieve something like this. You know, if you want to be truly recognized as an awesome empire builder, you have to like conquer like everything, you know? So it's, you have to like some, you have to make basically like ridiculously big empires if you want to, um, if you want to succeed. Ooh, we can make Arm Blanchet Cavalry. Arme Blanchet Cavalry. I don't even know what that was. Oh well. Join the army. The Khan wants you for the army. Right now. Just go there, strengthen some of the ar some of the other armies we have. But these guys still fighting? Yeah, they are. They're fighting Hindustan, really? They're fighting Persia. Mmm, that's interesting. I like that. So how about we just uh, declare a little bit of uh, war? I want to declare war. War. Yeah, did we get our claim? Uh, yep, we did. Okay, good, 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 good. So we are totally ready to do this. Ah, uh, Sunni, yeah, the, the Nogas have really been working hard to convert these things. Especially these provinces up here. How about the culture, though? Uh, it doesn't, that doesn't look like they have done too much to, to you know, their problem with the culture. You lazy fucks. You, you, get, you need to get your shit together. I guess I shouldn't be so mean. I am known for my meanness in games, anyways. 
Anyways, no, enough talk. Too little, too much talk. Too little war. Come on, move, yo, bitch. Alright, that's... Yeah, that's... Yeah, I think we're ready now. I think we are ready. Good to go. Good to go. Let's move. And, um... They rule over Chagatai. Yeah... Yeah. Okay, then I will guess we'll need to bring an army down there. How about this army? Yeah, that sounds like a good army. The perfect army to kill the derps of Chagatai. But I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna declare war straight away. Let's go! Wow, it's actually been ages now since I've had a proper war. Uh, so this will be a nice change of an eye. Oh, fuck. It's like I... Oh, I actually already had my military funded. Who would have thought? Alright, let's creep! Not... Eh, I guess this guy can go down here. That's... whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Alright, move! March, men! Can I, by the way, infiltrate their, um... Ooh, support rebels. That might be fun. I can't afford it, so why not? Why the hell not? Um... Economic... No, I wanted to infiltrate administration. I need an idea to do that. Okay. Let's just do, um... Let's do... Just to fuck them over with rebels. Just, like, support all the rebels. Hey, culture is changed. Nice. More Mongol culture. More Mongol. Hmm, kind of want to do this one, even though it's very expensive, just to sort of link up these two provinces. I guess I can do it. I guess it would actually be cheaper to do these. Huh, maybe not, actually. I could always just do this one. That's also kind of expensive. I want to save it. I want to save my points. I want to, like, I want to start converting this area. I think that would be more fun. It's gonna be ages until I can convert this shit, though, because I have to, like, convert a religion and everything. Um, that's just how things are, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. Get some more technology in that. How superior are we now? 25 and 21. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing... We're fine. How much, um... How much attrition are we taking? Eh, no, it's not. No big deal. It's fine. It's fine. Fine, okay, let's go in and split up a siege there and then keep moving. Uh, I see no reason not to. Uh, yeah, I can't see any of their derps, so I'm just gonna sort of guess that they don't have very many in the area. Let's do something like that just to strengthen the frontiers or whatever. Uh, Muscovy is going against no guy. That's By the way, how many... Love, what's the army strength right now of um, the good old Nogai military armies total? Ooh, I'm actually on top. Who would have thought? Second is Poland. Poland is really going into space in this one. Poland can into space. Uh, Nogai, here we go. Oh, wow, they have a lot of troops. Total amount of tr Yeah, wow. Okay, I guess I need to be a little bit careful then. As they are not as weak as they might look at the first at first glance. Siege of Kurgan is over. How nice. Uh, go there. These sieges seem to be going a little bit faster than the ones in Perm. I don't know if there's a particular reason for that, but what? I lost. Oh crap! I lost. Damn it! No! No! But, oh come on! Are you gonna do? You really gonna do this with your forced march and your bullshit? And I know my my um, rebel derp just failed at life. Uh, and there's the army that I was fearing. He's marching into Perm. Uh, that's fine by me, actually. I mean, that's that's cool. I can accept that. Uh, so yeah, let's bring some. Ah, oh, fuck! I'm afraid of weakening the. Frontier, though. Let's go in and just straight off unify these guys so they can do a little bit more of a resistance. And let's bring 5,000 over there. Mm. Uh, where are you going now? You're going to Perm. Yeah, that's nice. Can you please attack me? No, you're, you don't. S doesn't seem like you're interested in that. I need this guy to get there fast. Oh shit, why am I even. I should. No, he's. 
Yeah, he's, he's reached his location, so I can nice now start moving up. Uh, oh, he's going to Tura! Really now? He's just gonna go into my province and, like, take attrition and shit? Sure, that's, that's, you know, that that's cool by me, you know, no, no problem with that. that. That's fine, you know, no, no big deal. And I actually ended up attacking them. Well, fuck, that could have been a little bit better planned, but no, we're, hopefully we're gonna be able to pull this off. We are superior. So we just get in some reinforcements, and then we should be able to do, pull this one off. I need to get my inflation down, damn. Reduce that shit. Reduce it. All the way. Yeah, we are winning this. Um, they're not launching any other attacks, so no, we're fine. Go down. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no, let's just. No, ah. Uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, let's bring this army up there, actually. And you're going to. What now? Bash or. Blah, blah, blah. That's over there. I guess we'll just stay there then. I guess they're in a shattered, shattered retreat, so they are not actually going to be, um... Yeah, they're just going to be running away. Oh well. That's fine. No big, no big deal or anything, you know, it's cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big army you got there. Uh, a little too big in my opinion. Split up some, and then let's go down. You know what? This is silly. I'm splitting up all my infantry and leaving the um, cavalry. I should just leave the cavalry behind. So I do, strictly speaking, have too much cavalry in these armies. So select the army, and we'll split up some cavalry to siege the place. And some artillery. And then we'll march. And then we will march. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now, now they're doing something. They're going in, going in over there. Okay. Um... I guess we'll do something do something like that then. Oh no, you're not gonna be able to siege with that. Okay, uh you then no. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, they're coming. I guess I don't have much of a choice. Kind of just have to march. And ditch the siege. Oh well. Are you still marching? No, you're not. You're running away. Okay, that's. You just made me deactivate my siege, or whatever you want to call it. You are, you are, you are, you're, you're, you're yeah. You are stupid. Uh, I guess we should split these guys up a little bit to make sieges more efficient. Everybody loves efficient sieges, except the ones being sieged, that is. But you know, every, everybody can't get the everybody can't get the, what they want. Uh, gain inflation or no fuck overseas income. I don't care about that. Uh, no, huh? I want to convert cultures. I feel like that's more fun, so I'm gonna do that instead, because because everybody loves fun. Uh, okay, you go there now. We're not just no. Okay, uh, let's do the same thing as we did over there. Just cavalry in guns, and then you march. Oh crap, the Muscovy Muscovites are having a hard time. Uh, I guess we'll help our... No, they totally just won, didn't they? No, no, they, they didn't win. Okay, uh, I, I'm still confident that we should be able to figure this one. That's a big army, though. Wow. Pens yeah, are, are you fighting the Ottomans? No, you're not. Muscovy... Nope, you're not fighting the Ottomans. You're just herping, herper derping. Uh, wow. Mm, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say in these types of situations. How much overextension would this give? Yeah, that's a decent chunk. Something like that. Like that, and like a couple of more, like these maybe? Like that? Those? Like, I want them with, those with claims. Those I have claims on. Like these two? Do I have claim on this? No, I don't have claim on that. So I'll do that one as well then. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to like get super high... Overextension, we all we've all experienced how bad that can become. So yeah. Did you perm is over? Nice. You're not going anywhere. You're just gonna stand, aren't you? That's I don't I don't that's not comforting comforting to me. I don't like you doing that. Makes me feel bad. Uh go there, I guess. I wanna make sure they can be supported by each other. 
Uh, I think that sounds logical. Samara, okay. As long as you don't go into any other provinces that I have, we should be fine. Uh, yeah. No need for this army to have that then, so you go there, I guess. And there we go, nice. Okay, so you guys can go... I guess we can start sieging all this crap. I guess I want to strengthen the frontier. Um... Because can they even get over there if I put troops there? I don't know. I just don't know. I guess if they bring troops over, then we'll notice it. So, it should be fine. We can go there now. Let's just bring everyone over here to the west. Keep our troops united. And if they start, you know, doing something stupid like, I don't know, attacking me or whatever. Or like, you know, sending their troops over here, then we'll, we'll be ready for it. Okay, let's go ahead and do like that. So, what do we have claim? We don't have... What? Yes, we do have a claim on that, so we should be fine. Maybe I'll just not do that one. I don't really want unnecessary... Um, any unnecessary overextension. Uh, maybe... I don't know what region to take. This one might be good, actually. It looks cool anyways to own this one. Uh, yeah. So maybe something like this is going to be a nice start to our expansions and stuff. Yeah. I think this can uh, work. Uh, cancel you. Ooh, yes, that's something I won't want. I would like that for that to happen. Cancel your a vassal, and uh, that's really all I care for. Really, I don't really mind. Of course, you revoking your course would be nice. So, yeah, I think this is a good peace deal. So click this button to create a peace offer that the enemy should be willing to accept. You still get to decide whether or not to send it. Okay, let's let's try that. What what happens if I do that? Oh, oh yeah, this is okay. Okay, okay. I understand. It's basically the computer telling you what the they would accept of you. Uh, that's kind of understandable, I guess. Uh, but no, never mind that. I'll I'll figure this one out on my own. I think. Really, I just wanted to cancel your vassal, and I want you to give me those regions. That's really all I care for right now. How wealthy is? No, it's only three. That's fine. That should be easy. Easy annexation. No big deal. Alright, speed the game up a little bit. I'm getting impatient here. Keep getting that war score! War score! War score! Yeah, we are totally winning this right now. Oh my god, we're just totally winning this. Uh, and now they have a Doomstack coming. To Yalk, okay. That's fine by me. It's totally fine. Except for the fact that I don't have a leader. That's not fine. <laughs> not fine at all. Uh, but barely any of my armies have leaders though, so that's nothing new. Right? Uh, what? Oh, fuck. That's what I get. Really now? Occupied by no guy? Oh my god. I'm not paying attention at all. I'm just like, no... Attention? What? No. Paying attention is for loser losers. Haha, <laughs> no. No. Come on, attack me. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. Uh, here we go. They're attacking. Uh, so let's quickly get in there. And save the day. And, well, that was easy. <laughs> we didn't even need the supporting army. Wow. I don't know what's wrong with them. They're, they're not doing very well, these no-guy folks. Eh, not doing very nicely. They went to Astrakhan. Yeah, that's fine by me. Go to Astrakhan, sure. Just don't bother me. That's that's all. That's actually really nice. If I can get their army over there, then I can do like this. And that'll efficiently... Oh, I guess they can march through these lands. Ooh, yeah, that's an issue, actually. They might then start moving up to... Try and take these regions. Uh, so I might, if, if I see them keep, if I see that they keep going, or, yeah, no, they stopped, so it's fine. Oh, shit, uh, accidentally sort of stumble into the cable of my headset there, sorry about that. 
Uh, that happens sometimes. Uh, hostile sieges. What? No. Don't you hostile siege me. That ain't cool, brah. Nope. Nationalists, really? Huh. It's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, dun 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 dun! Yay! Core province! Now we... Why not? No missionaries? Uh, this guy's literally doing nothing, so how about we just make him stop doing nothing? As it is, kind of pointless not doing anything. Well, I guess it is because of the fact... Fuck, are we even going to be... Uh, we're going to here. Are we even... Yeah, we are going to be able to convert this one. So, let's do that one. Um, yeah, cancel. Send him here where he's actually going to be able to do something. I really need to get some new ideas. I really feel like having the re getting the religious ideas. Uh, I mean, they're they're a little bit of a double-edged sword as you do have to pay uh, administrative points to get them. But anyways, I mean, I still feel like it's worth it. Simply because the uh, ooh power pop 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 power. Uh, I still feel like, feel like it's worth it because I do need to start converting these peoples. Must convert everything. Hey, what the hell? How did they get over there? They like march, march around here or something? Shit, I don't know. Ooh, technology. Get that shit done. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to save it for culture conversion. Right, but I can't even convert any of these cultures anyways because I have I haven't um. I haven't converted their religion yet, so that's an issue. Are you seriously... How much do you need before you can accept my terms? How about not the money? I, I can handle without your money. I have more than enough money myself. Uh, I guess we only have level 2, so let's do morale of armies. That sounds like a good thing right now. So I can go over there, I guess. Uh, now you're going where? going there, okay. That's fine. Now you're going to attack Yalk, Yalk again. Alright. Uh, I do not accept that, so how about we go and support that? Or not, we just won anyways. You're going to... Okay, let, okay, let's just finish them now. Let's just exterminate them from the face of the earth. Their existence is not something I can respect, and as a result, they must die. You're going to... Okay. Let's just follow... Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just follow them Follow them until we can kill them now. And let's just get a general while we're at it. Uh, sh yeah, good shock. I guess a good shock thing is a good thing. Whatever. It's fine, I guess. I don't know for sure. Uh, okay, we won another battle. This is really, really good for our prestige as well. Ustjot. Alright. I can follow you to Ustjot if that's what you feel is necessary. Nope. Oh, I, can, I can follow you even more. Don't you worry about that. Where the hell are you, though? There you go. There you go. Now I got you. Or not. Now I got you. Yes. You're still not dead, though. Come on. Just... There we go, we killed them. Now let's go kill those guys. I feel like that's something I want to do. Oh crap, oh crap, oh, oh we might be able to reach it. We might, yes, and we, wow, we just won anyways, wow. Wow, you guys just kind of suck, don't you? Yeah, you really do suck. No way, you no know, guy. You know what my peace offers are. Unless you're gonna accept that, I'm not gonna be doing anything to you. Split the army to speed up the sieges. Back here. Die. Thank you. We need to die a little bit more. Ooh, 73. We're, clo we're closing. Yep, yeah, here we go. Now we can get it done. I also want you to revoke your course on my stuff. Just a. This is a just this is a reminder that you are not you know you're you're not awesome and that you should recognize that. Where is Janpur, by the way? Janpur is right there, and there for some reason a vassal of uh, no guy. Logic. No logic was found that day. 
Alright, uh, this sounds reasonable, so let's go ahead and do this. Kablamo! 60 aggressive expansion, that's fine. Let's get our guys back into our territories, and now we need to start coring it all. And it's gonna take forever. No, is that? Oh, that's not actually that long. We don't even have a claim on the place. Interesting. Oh, that's that's really nice. I like that. I really do like that. It's gonna make this process a lot more easy. We're ready to core. This one, on the other hand, needs to be cored. Seems like these provinces over here are taking a bunch of time. Yeah, I'm just gonna harsh treatment these two provinces, and I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna kill any rebels popping up over there. So, I think that's gonna be a good solution. Right, so next on our to-kill list, I think, would be a Chagtai. I really feel like they... Uh, I, I kind of want to annex them. I mean, that's kind of why I released them, so that I could uh, invade them. Right now, though, we are suffering some overextension, so we can't really... I want to be careful about expanding anymore, so we'll wait a little bit longer. Once we have done that, I'll start invading. I, I really want to invade Kazakh and Chagtai. I want to sort of take this area of the world. Maybe these, like these two, and like that, like all of these, all of the Timurids, all of Chagatai, and these two provinces. If I can get that, then I'll be happy. Um, and it, once I get that, if I, if I have time after I've taken that, then I'll just see what I'll do. No big deal or anything. Uh, yeah. Let's get some technology. Wow, we can still afford it, even though we have to spend some points on coring this shit. Yeah, sure. Sounds reasonable. Ooh, we can do another, another idea. Nice. Let's get another idea then. I would like religious ideas. Thank you. So that I can start converting people. It's going to take a while though. We need to get all the way to level 4 if you want. Before we can get the, um, the ones I want. But there are some other good things in here as well. We of course have the stability thing. Which is really nice. Especially for us. And this one is also quite nice I guess. Uh... Yeah. Uh, the the thing though, uh, I I did I don't really see too much of a difference between the provinces we have claims on and the provinces we don't have claims on when it comes to time for it. I guess and yeah, you know, like they're both level three or they are level three base tax, and uh, six. Nah, uh, I guess there's a little bit of difference. So I guess it's still kind of, I don't know, whatever. Uh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh fuck, that's actually kind of annoying. Who? Ah, it's only Kazakh. It's Kazakh? No, it's not. Ah, here we go. Yeah, no guy might actually go ahead and um, go into a coalition against us. That wouldn't exactly surprise me, to say the least. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll go ahead and end the episode here. I'll just get my troops in position in a way that I like. I'm just going to put my troops all over these new provinces that we just acquired. And, um, yeah. And I'll leave it at that. And in the next episode, we will annex Ayataya. Which will be very nice. To say the least. Alright, let's do like that. Do like that. Split like that. And do like that. And, of course, yeah, I did put harsh treatment on this one. So they shouldn't be in too much of a danger of revolting. So... Yeah, the revolt risk in these areas are bad, but that's fine. It's cool, it's cool. Let's get a derp. You, you, sure, whatever. Dipl diplomatic re reputation or guy, that sounds reasonable. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Europe and Rosales 4 as the Oira Tord. And until next time, bye.